God, how many out there are part of the end time army of the Lord. The Joel's army, Joel spoke about an army. May not be a literal army in the natural, but it's a metaphorical and spiritual army. You know, prophets in the 1950s and 60s gave a word of a billion soul army where draft slips would fall from the ground as they fell on the ground. People would take them off the ground, their name were on the draft slips. John, Susie, Mary, whatever, and enlist themselves into the army of the Lord. You're enlisted today. If you're part of it or you want to be part of it, we're enlisting in this army. In the comments, say, I want to be in the army. I'm in it. That doesn't matter if you're a captain, a sergeant, you work in the mess hall, the cafeteria, you're a medic. You're in the army of the Lord the same way there's ranks in the army in the natural. There's also ranks in the spiritual army. Some could be pastors, prophets, etc. But whatever your role in your lane is, I love how Joel says they run like mighty men. They climb the wall like men of war. Everyone marches in formation. Know your gifting, know your calling. Don't try and be like anybody else. They shouldn't be like you. You shouldn't be like them. Listen, you're not Moses, and Moses wasn't you. So don't try and be like Moses. Wigglesworth is dead. Catherine Coleman is dead. They're dead. We're alive. We're on the earth. It's time for us to score some points for Jesus. On the playing field for the kingdom of God now. I want to read these scriptures in a moment. The book of Joel. They're powerful. They're poignant for now. Because there is a Gideon's army. The Lord's raised up an end time ecclesia. And body of Christ. An extension of Jesus on the earth. Hallelujah. Number one. To fulfill the great commission. Preach the gospel, make disciples of all nations. That's our assignment. That's our, Now, you may have other assignments that are minor to that, but that's the major assignment. Stay on the major assignment. assignment. Don't get off the major assignment. How, your minor assignment will never be your major assignment. Now, before I continue, be an honor if you're new, subscribe also. I'm live 9 p.m. Eastern New York, live stream YouTube. Mondays, East Coast, and the Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern, Zoom, live, global Zoom, church. I will pin the ID and passcode in the comments. Listen to this, Joel chapter 2, the middle part of verse 2. A people come, great and strong, the like of whom has never been, nor will ever any such after them, even for many successive generations. And then I read to you verse 7, they run like mighty men, they climb the wall like men of war, everyone marches in formation, they do not break ranks, they do not push one another, everyone marches in his own column. The Lord gives voice before his army, his camp is very great. And then it goes on to talk about the army of the Lord. In verse 28, God's going to pour out his spirit and all flesh. That word flesh, guys, is not 8 billion on the earth. It's his church. That word flesh is his church. His people is called out ones. His sons and daughters to carry this mantle, to carry this weight, this dominion, this power, this glory, this... Ha! Let me pray for you. Father, we're asking the army to come together. Ezekiel seen the dry bones. You brought them down in a valley. You asked him a question. Can they live? He said, only you know. He said, prophesy to the wind. O come ye winds and breathe on these slain winds from the north, south, east, and west. They stood on their feet. A great exceeding army. Halabashunda. Yes, I almost had a fit, a benefit. It's time for the church to rise up, the true church of Jesus, and preach the full gospel. Key word, full, not part of it, not half of it, not some of it, not most of it, all of it. And don't add to the gospel. Don't add to the counsel of God. 
Some are taking away, some are adding. My God, get in the book, get in the book, get in the book, huh? The Lord bless you guys in Jesus' name, amen.